Just two weeks after bars were allowed to reopen, some are making the decision to shut down again. This weekend, nearly a dozen bar owners announced on social media pages they were going to play it safe in light of the second wave of infections. The 19th's Patty Santos talks to some of them who say this was not an easy decision. The well on the north side. We thought that it was best to shut down to give our staff a chance to get tested, make sure they are all healthy. Brooks Pub on the southeast side. We started seeing things happening at other clubs and people testing positive and it was moving so fast that you have to make a choice. Just two of the nearly dozen San Antonio bars that announced on social media this weekend that they're shutting down again for a deep cleaning. And the decision wasn't easy. It's been very difficult financially um, through this entire time. We are a family run business. So when we close, um, it directly affects us and our family and our bartenders, our entire staff. But as they watched the numbers increase, they didn't want to risk their workers or patrons health. A few bars announced they had customers or workers who tested positive. It was super alarming. The squeeze box owner says he's watching the news on new infections daily to make his decision. At this rate, if these case numbers keep going up like this, I'm not hopeful that we're going to stay open for another week or two. His staff wear masks and are required to get tested weekly. Management at this bar is waiting for the test results for their staff to decide when they're going to reopen. But once they do, they say they're going to be more strict about their protocol. It's just not worth it to keep going through the opening, closing, opening, closing when it's just easier to make it right. Bar owners say they were eager to get back to business, but now they're forced to make a moral decision on whether to make a living or shut down. You can't fault anybody for whatever decision they make because people have to eat, people need jobs, and, you know, this is the times we're in right now. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.